price figures, or what I like to call them, gateway drug, the drug that I call, and they think they're good. And today we're here to look at a price figure and a scale figure for you to decide which one you should get. So the comparison will be my Sakurajima from Taito and from Adflex. So let's start with the Taito figure and just cut her hair. So for her hair, it's this grayish color that goes down to be translucent at the bottom, like the tips of her hair, which I think was really weird. Not because it's not well done and not well executed, but just because I think it's pretty weird for the character. I don't really think it fits in well with Mai's look because she didn't really have that type of hair in the anime. But it is sculpted great and like how the hair flows looks really great with how the figure is posed. But yeah, this one thing that I really didn't like about this figure is that she has like translucent hair at the bottom and how it transitions to it. Taking a closer look at it, it's not even that well done, honestly. Because you can see like the separation where it just becomes translucent. It's not this like smooth transition where it goes to the translucent part from this opaque part. On the other side, we have the scale figure, which doesn't have a single strand of her hair that's a different color or even like a different shade. It's just a solid gray all throughout her hair from top to bottom. No difference in coloring or anything, which I honestly think looks good even without shading or anything on it. What I really like about this, the way it's sculpted and the way it looks, how it's like flowy and kind of dynamic-ish, it really helps because the figure isn't just like the static pose where she's just standing and just striking a pose. The flowing of her hair helps provide more like a sense of movement in the way she looks, which is an added bonus. So first point goes to the scale figure. Now let's move on to what's on top of her hair, which is the bunny ears. Bunny ears for the scale figure for Aniplex Mai. It's just this like plain color that's a different darker shade from her hair, which honestly looks okay because you can really see the differentiation from her hair to the bunny ears in the color, but that's pretty much all I can give it praise for. I just really like small details with her like creases in the bunny ears, which I really like, but it's pretty much the only good thing I can say about it. There's really not much to say about her bunny ears because they, they're, they don't really stand out. It's not good, but it's also not great. It's also not bad, which is okay. But the price figure actually does a good job with the bunny ears. I really like the bunny ears in this one because it has this like velvety texture it just adds this like little dynamic to the texture that makes it look gray and makes it look a little bit more textured and it adds on a little more like real vibe to it and becomes more a little realistic. I mean, they're both in a similar pose where this one's just bent down a little more, but it does really strike a difference that it's velvet and it's a different material from the rest of the figure. And if you really touch it, it's kind of soft and it's so smooth. Only thing I don't like about it is how dust gets on it and it's hard to clean because it's velvet. It's gonna have like a small vacuum to just like suck up all the dust from it. But that's pretty much the only bad thing you can say about the bunny ears for this one because it is great that it's a different texture. Now let's move on to the bunny suit. Remember how I said the contrast with like the velvet texture to the rest of the figure looks good? This time the contrast didn't do so well in making the figure look good with the bunny figure because her main suit looks like it's made out of cheap plastic that makes the figure look kind of cheap and drags down its looks quite a bit. Material that they used looked really bad. Plastic shiny material didn't really do so well. Yeah, I don't really like the glossy suit, but I do get the reasoning behind doing so because like in how bunny suits are made, from what I know, they're made out of this leather material, which tends to be kind of glossy and shiny. I think they're trying a more realistic approach when it comes to the figure and the material of the clothes. Because like with the bunny ears, it's velvet. It's kind of how like bunny ears are from what I know. And that's probably what they did with this main suit as well. I'm just sad it didn't really translate well when it came to the actual figure. I mean, the theory does seem like a good idea to make it a more realistic approach. And the textures really do make a difference with how the figure looks. It just didn't really work out well. And I don't really know what to say about the bunny tail since I can't really see it because it's covered by her hair and I can't really touch it. If it's like a material that's kind of soft and velvety as well, I don't really know. Okay, now that I've like forced my finger behind her hair to feel the bunny tail. It is of this velvety material as well. I really like that. So I think that's really what they're trying to do for a more realistic approach, especially texture wise and how it appears to be. But on the other side of the spectrum, we have the scale figure, which is the exact opposite material. I think it's, this one's glossy and this one's just straight matte. And it actually looks so much better that it's matte finish. 
the matte finish of the figure really accentuates the figure's tone and everything. It looks super great. I love the sculpt of her bunny suit as well. It really like shows the detail of her body and how it's sculpted. The sculpting on this is superb. The creases and everything looks super great. The lines, they look super great. Not seam lines in the figures, but the lines in her bunny suit that adds on more details to it. It looks super great. The cuffs are amazing. The small button in her cuff is like this metallic, shiny, glossy material, which really differentiates it from the cuff itself because the cuff's supposed to be caught, right? But you can really see the button is like a metallic material. At least that's how it appears to be, but I'm pretty sure it's just shiny plastic. The bunny tail on this one, you can really see it and you can touch it, but it's not anything good unlike this, which has like a velvety soft material when you touch it. This one's just hard, like the rest of the figure. And another thing that I really like about this figure is the way her shoes are glossy and it like differentiates itself from the rest of the figure because it's the only glossy thing. The rest is like matte material, even her hair, the bunny suit, everything is like matte except the shoes, which the contrast in that actually looks really great and it actually does it really well. And just going down, now we can talk about the bases, which in all honesty, both suck. For the Anaplex one, we have this like white semi-translucent base with Japanese writing that I don't understand. And for the price figure, which is the title one, we have this black semi-translucent as well base that has writings that I do understand. It says My Sakurajima, which is her name. And it gives like a short description of what puberty syndrome is, which is what the show is about. So just based on that, I guess I'll give the score for this one just because I can understand what it says. But honestly, both figures should have deserved a better pace. Since she's wearing like in a bunny suit, I guess we can go over the anime and have like this train stations platform or like the libraries flooring as the base. That would have been so much better than this circular translucent-ish base with her name on it. I kind I really don't like circular bases to have nothing on it. I want better bases for figures and it's what we deserve, especially for this one since it does cost a lot more, it should have a better base. So moving on from the bases, now we're gonna talk about their face. Honestly, what surprised me the most was that both of their eyes were kind of similar. It honestly looked like it was the same set of eyes. I mean, yeah, it's like my eyes, they're the same character, but like how it's made and how it's painted looked the same to me, which was insane for the price point, like the difference in the price of these two. But I expected this to be a whole lot worse for the eyes but it did such a great job at it, at capturing of how it looks and how it's supposed to look. But what really killed her face was the expression of her face. That's mainly the difference between these two faces. This one has like a more serious tone and this one's just like a smiling face, which was really weird and creepy with how the smile looked. I didn't really like how it translated into the figure. It probably could have been done better, but yeah, granted that a serious face would have been easier to do than a smiling face. This looks so much better though. Even if it's like easier to execute and everything, the serious face looks so much better on this scale figure. There's really nothing else to say about her face because it looks great. Yeah, there's not a lot of things going on, but that's how it looks in the anime. I think it's one of the posters that I've seen. I'll pull up right here if I find it. No, right here. But yeah, I think it looks super great in this figure. Now we're moving on to quality. Honestly, this one from afar looks really great. It's such a great price figure for what you pay for. But there are some issues with it as well. But it's understandable since it's a price figure. First, it says like there's seam lines all over that you can see all over her legs. Quality's not really there when it came to her legs. You see there's like kind of discoloration here too. And honestly, I thought it was kind of cool of how it's sculpted here because it feels like the bone in your hip thing and really does feel like that. But there are some discoloration here already, which I don't know how that happened. It just kind of faded out. And the overall sculpt and the overall pose looks actually, it looks fine and looks good. There are some parts, some details where the quality isn't there. Like with her necktie thing, it's not really attached to her body. It's kind of like lifted up a little bit and you can see and if you look closer, I'm not sure if you can pick it up on the camera. You can see like where it's supposed to attach, but it's not attached. So that kind of sucks. But yeah, the Tiger one definitely does have some points over the Anaplex one. Like with the ears, the base, 
but it's not really enough to edge it out for me. I really think this one is still so much better, but don't get me wrong, this one would still be a great buy, a great purchase if this is your price point. It's really a great bang for your buck. You're really getting your money's worth from buying this figure. It's super cheap and it's honestly way good for its price. But this one, this one's just godly. This one's just at a whole nother level, not just because it's a scale figure against a price figure, it's in a whole nother level on even other skin figures. What surprised me about this is actually the texture. The texture that you don't see, because just from looking at it, they look like they're from a same material, but they're actually not. When you touch this, it's actually way smoother than the body part. This one's kind of like hard and stuff, but her legs feel super smooth and they actually feel super soft. And the small details of the figure, like the button or cuff, coloration and the shading on her elbows, pieces in her bunny ears. I mean, no one would even look at those, but they added that in to add a more realistic and a better approach to how a figure should be made. Really, really, really love this figure. This cult, this pose, and everything is just stunning. So if you have the budget for it, I would suggest going for this. But both figures are actually really great and they're both good to have in your collection, which is why I have both of them. So in the ultimate choice between going for a price figure and a scale figure, I would recommend going for the scale figure in this one, but this one is just absolutely amazing. This my scale is just absolutely amazing. And if this helped you guys in any way or form, or even if you just liked the video, please show some love to the channel and maybe subscribe or hitting that like button or even better, maybe even both. Appreciate you guys. See you over here, bros. Peace. Oh, <laughs> baby.